Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more amazing and tasty recipes. Spinach is one of the superfoods. It is highly nutritious and it is loaded with vitamins and minerals which include calcium, magnesium, vitamin B6, B9, vitamin E, etc. It is highly rich in fiber so it prevents constipation. It has a lot of amount of carotenoids which give anti-inflammatory and anti-cancerous properties. Therefore, it is responsible for a good eyesight preventing cataracts. It contains a high amount of magnesium which improves the metabolism of the body, maintains the blood pressure and helps in boosting the immunity of the body. Also, spinach leaves have a lot of vitamin A in them which is necessary for your hair growth and maintaining healthy skin. Let's get on with the procedure. First, we will have to cook the spinach. So, in a pan, you add around half liter of water and bring it to a boil. Add a teaspoon of salt to this boiling water and add the spinach leaves which are washed and dried and cook this for about 10 minutes. Once the spinach is cooked, you strain it. Do not throw away this boiled water, store and use it as a vegetable stock. Transfer the spinach leaves immediately in ice water for 5 minutes so that it retains its nutritive properties and colour. Till the palak is cooling, you take a pan, add 2 teaspoons of butter, 1 bay leaf, some garlic cloves and 1 chopped onion. Saute this for 2 minutes. Then cool this mixture. Next, you add the palak leaves and this cooled mixture into a grinder and make it to a fine paste. But remember, Please remove the bay leaf before grinding the mixture. Grind this mixture again by adding a little bit of vegetable stock to it and strain it. Pour the palak puree mix into a pan. Add the same bay leaf that was kept aside. Then add the palak stock which we had stored earlier. To this you add half cup of milk along with 2 teaspoon of cream and a pinch of pepper in the soup. The soup is ready to serve once it comes to a boil. One tip, just before serving the soup, add salt according to your taste in the bowl and then pour the soup. You can add a teaspoon of cream for garnishing. I hope you all like this recipe. Please share your feedbacks. Please click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Thank you.